Well, hello, everybody, and uh, I have some really fascinating news. I was going to actually do some videos on uh, stuff I was actually fixing, you know, like real cars that, you know, you could repair. I have an update for the Oldsmobile that was, uh, you know, pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, none of that's going to happen right now because I came across an article uh, from Mopar Insiders about our favorite company, Stellantis, and their absolute tone deaf, complete lack of self awareness, not reading the market, not reading the room, just utterly and absolutely lost when it comes to SEMA, which is in two weeks, which is the uh, specialty manufacturers showcase. So, this is where all your really cool concept cars, all the uh, cool accessories, Everything that you know that you could put on your car or truck to add some power or some something to make it different. You know, this is where they uh, Stellantis unveiled the uh, Elephant. You know, they they've unveiled a bunch of actually cool things at this show, and uh, this new thing is not one of them. So let's dive into this this absolute mess mopar newest concept to be appears to be an electrified belvedere everybody show of hands who 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 come on show me your hands who actually is wanting this i i can't find i i have yet to hear anybody got a car show go yeah man i wish this classic car had an electric motor in it so i could be tied to uh, uh, you know having to charge it every day and not be able to store it for two months. And yeah, that'd be awesome. So yeah, here we go. Mopar gives us more hints at their newest concept coming to SEMA 2024. And this is from Mopar Insiders, Robert Miller. Mopar has just offered a glimpse of an exciting new concept. Damn, these guys are good. Man, they can make anything sound like it's not garbage. Uh, ahead of the 2024 Specialty Equipment Man Marketing Association, SEMA. Show scheduled for November 5th or 8th, 2024, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. This year, the performance brand has chosen to revive a classic, the 1966 Plymouth Belvedere. But rather than sticking with the traditional muscle car roots, which is what people want and are demanding, Mopar is stepping into the future. Well, their future, not the real future, but retrofitting this classic model with an electric powertrain. A modern twist on a classic. Mopar has a reputation for creating show-stopping rest of mod builds for SEMA, and this Plymouth Belvedere concept promised to be no different. While many enthusiasts anticipated a powerful Hemi V8, which, yes, that's true, or even the twin turbocharged Huracan, which uh, would be this thing, crate engine, yeah, see the crate engine that you know. This is they just released this, you know, this new engine. They made a crate engine of it. No, 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 under the hood. No, no, no. Why? Why do that? No, the latest teaser images and video suggest otherwise. Instead, the Belvedere is expected to feature an electric powertrain, possibly borrowing the technology from the 2025 because it is not a 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona Scat Pack Stage One EV RTSE. Hellcat Banshee. The shift to electric power marks a bold move for a brand deeply associated with high octane gasoline fueled performance. <clears throat> Preserving muscle car heritage with an electric heart. It is a YouTube video, which I'm not going to bother watching. Uh, Mopar's decision to electrify the Belvedere brings a fresh perspective to the rest of mod scene. Merging classic muscle car styling with a modern electric power. This is not the first time Mopar has blended the old with the new for SEMA. Previous project like the Dodge Challenger Shakedown concept, which per, uh, incorporated a potential three, a potent 392 Hemi V8, which was uh, this right here, which is actually rather cool. It's something that people actually do do. I don't know why, but they do do it. Hey, you know, more power to them. See, look, this is a car that people actually are doing. And you can do this in your garage. No special tools needed. Just, you know, 
So, you know, and, and Holly actually sells the things so you can plug this right into your car and drive it. Okay, yeah, that was one thing. Okay, that made sense. That's when they actually had uh, Kuniskis as their, uh, if I hope I'm saying that right, as their CEO, because he actually understood what it, what consumer wanted. Uh, or uh, the um, 1968 Dodge Supercharger concept featuring the massive seven liter 426 Helifant Hemi V8, which has set a high bar for creativity. And that's this motor in this I think this is a carbon fiber. I hate these ads. Uh, carbon fiber body. Once again, you know, makes sense. You can put gas, go to the local store, put gasoline in it. And if you don't drive for, for a month, it just sits there and it's kind of cool. Yep. No chance of it catching fire just by, I don't know, water hitting it or just having a short. Uh, so, yeah, this is the whole supercharger concept. You know, they, they, I believe they sold out of the bodies because it's actually something people want because it is repairable and kind of cool. But here, like, let's go back to this story. And then, of course, the uh, unconventional builds, the uh, 68 Dodge 2 D200 camper special transformed to a sleek Cummins power low ride. I didn't even bother. I, I'm more interested in the cars. With the new Belvedere concept, Mopar aims to prove the classic muscle cars can adapt to the evolving automotive landscape while retaining their iconic style. The choice to electrify the Belvedere aligns with broader trends in the industry as automakers balance nostalgia with modern technology to attend to attract a new generation of enthusiasts. So once again, now, Stellantis is fully on board with the modern audience does that does not exist just like entertainment which has gone for the modern audience and has released bomb after bomb after bomb because the modern audience does not exist and this modern audience for cars does not exist it is not there there is a small subfraction of people that buy into the electric car hype garbage they they have no these are not car people. These are not people that understand how cars work or how things over time break down. This is once again Stellantis just being lost, and this is why they replaced Kuniski. He was pushed out. I I I I'm now fully aware he's pushed out to the changes, and now they're having their insane their insane electric concept being force fed down our throats. So here it is. What to expect at SEMA 2024. The full details of the powertrain and performance capabilities of the Belvedere concept remain under wraps. But if Mopar's past built any indication, the rest of my would be very controversial once it's rolled out. As in many of the few muscle car brands known for pushing the boundaries of what's possible, Mopar are electrified to take the 1967 Plymouth Belvedere might just become a highlight of this year's event. I seriously doubt that. Second of all, you know what's really upsetting me is that this is Plymouth. Plymouth's been dead since 2002, 2003. They're dead. It's a dead brand. And this is what I was saying in other videos, that if Stellantis decides just to fold up tent on Chrysler and Dodge, it doesn't mean there's going to be free reign to get parts because they don't, you know, they don't make Plymouths anymore. But trying to get reproduction parts for those cars or gets parts for those cars, even the 90s ones, it's pretty freaking impossible because they control the rights to it. And if they don't decide it to be made, you don't get it. Uh, this actually is really irritating to me. I don't know why this bothers me. So I know why, because this is silliness. So here we go. There's some concepts of them destroying a 67 Belvedere, which is a cool car, and uh, making it a useless paperweight now they're talking about you know how um kind of uh in this in this article how this is the uh you know they're going to be the future so let's go and look what see what ford is doing at sema oh ford rolls out off-road packages at sema for gas-powered cars for the ranger and the bronco two vehicles that um are doing much better comparatively than anything jeep is baking right now um yeah you know, they, they don't have massive recalls on the Bronco that they may catch fire or stop moving. You know, they had one recall that had bad uh, valve retainers. 
uh, on the six sixes. And that's all. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is what they're doing. Uh, wait, they're talking about the new audience for EVs. Well, let's look at Europe. Europe's, you know, the big EV push over there. What's going on in Europe? Oh, why European car makers struggle in a electric. European demands that electric wind looks fragile as sales collapse. Uh, the Guardian, uh, the Guardian view on Europe's struggling EV industry. Have you big hopes on EV batteries came unstuck. That's full fortune. Europe is in EV freakout mode. I know in, in uh, Italy, the electric uh, two th uh, Cinquecento, which is the 500 for Fiat, uh, isn't selling at all. In fact, the plant's closed, and now they've gone on strike. Why did e European EV sales take a tumble in August? Because no one wants them. I mean, even in Europe, people don't want these cars. It is truly amazing how Stellantis is sitting here trying to force feed us cars that no one, that no one wants. I, I don't understand what, you know, I don't understand what, who this is for. This is not for a muscle car person at all. And, 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 tr and this is actually more than insulting than them taking that car from, uh, oh, God, I can't remember what it was called. It was the 57 Chevy that they would try different powertrains in and, and bastardizing it by putting in, you know, an appliance engine in there or motor, an appliance motor. It's not even an engine. Because this is this is literally why Stellantis will fail. The, 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 the being this tone deaf, this lost and unable to read the market, they can't see the tea leaves. The EV thing is dead. Ford basically went, yeah, we're done. We're done. I mean, they've made two car. They made two things. They they they're they're losing sixty grand a car. They're, they're done with it. So what they've done is they doubled down. They updated the Coyote motor again, and forward ahead. You know, General Motors. Yeah, maybe we'll buy and build some hybrids. But you uh, go look at GMC and Chevy trucks. There's V8s in those things. There's lots of V8s. They're very readily available. Cadillac Escalade, V8, very readily available. You know, Ford, F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, V8, readily available, easily available. And uh, th th this, this modern audience that they're trying to look for doesn't exist. This thing turned on. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm so easily distracted at times, uh, but <laughs> but yeah. So those are my thoughts on this absolute tragic travesty uh, that has happened uh, at SEMA from Stellantis. Uh, what are yours? I'm just curious because this really this is just so unnecessary at this point. I I don't I I just don't get it. I don't. Uh, I hope you got some from this. If you did, hey, like, subscribe. You know, check my channel out for other stuff because I actually do work on cars. I actually really love cars and I try to put some tips and tricks and whatever. And I actually have a variety of cars I work on, a lot of old cars. I have some new BMWs that I work on because I like them. They're fun to drive. And they're, you know, once you drive one of them, you, you realize they're kind of fun to drive, but they also show a lot of workings of modern cars because they were always on the cutting edge of electrical issues. Um, but you know, I, 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 that's what this channel is all about. But I, I like keeping up on the news, especially when it deals with uh, Chrysler Corporation and Stellantis, the overlord, which uh, has been doing things that have been more damaging to the automotive industry than anything else that can be done. And you know, at this point, you know, coming out with something no one wants, not creating a buzz is um unbelievable and also uh where is the this this 2025 charger ev thing it's almost november you allegedly opened up order books i have yet to see any any news i have i haven't heard i haven't heard a peep out of stellantis since this uh, order book opened up that everybody went oh my god that's un that's just unobtainable 80 grand for a toy it, it no you can go buy a muscle car for, you know, you know, a fringe muscle car for 25 grand. And you know what? You can store it in the garage all winter and then take it out in the spring. 
with you know a stable in the gas tank it'll start up and drive do that with your ev leave that in the garage all winter and see what happens to it oh it'll be as dead as a doornail when you try to go start it again or move it or whatever you have to do to those damn things so yeah so there's that you know if you have an old car or something cool take it out because you make someone's day maybe even your own and you know i'll catch you really soon with uh some updates on an oldsmobile and uh all right have a great one <laughs>